Welcome all to this tutorial. Today I am going to be talking about hard and soft links. They are directly connected to the Linux file system or related to that subject. That is what I meant to say. You, I've already shown you how you can spot links with an ls command. Basically, oops, well, you would need to type in ls, la, or just l. And here it says it's a directory, so D stands for directory, and hyphen stands for a file, and if, instead of a, an aside from a hyphen and a D, you also have an L, which stands for a link. There are two types of links on Linux file system. You have hard and soft links. Now they differ to a very large extent, and they're basically, a hard link would be just a different name for a file. So imagine you have a file that is stored on your hard drive and you have simply named it, you have simply given it different names on multiple locations so that they, so that it would be accessible or that it would, uh, or that you would prevent its accidental deletion or something of a kind. Doesn't really matter. I just want you to understand the concept of a hard link. So just different names for the exactly the same file. Uh, and those hard links are can be placed pretty much anywhere. Now, soft links, they are, you have a file on your hard drive, and then you have links to that file. I know it can be a bit confusing, but think of it this way. If you had a bunch of soft links, and if you deleted the original, you could no longer access the file that is on your hard drive because it would be gone. If you have several hard links, and if you delete any number of them, as long as one still remains, you should be able to access that file without greater difficulty. Even though you have managed to, even though you've deleted some of them or most of them, uh, you can still access the file. As I said, hard links are the same files, just different names and possibly diff and different locations, while soft links are just, in effect, links. They, they guide you through it, they give you a path, they are not the files themselves, to which they provide links. Anyway, let's go ahead and see how do you actually create a soft link. We'll take a... what shall we take? Well, we won't take anything, we'll actually create something. Touch soft L, and now we're gonna go ahead and say echo uh, I am here and you are there. And this is a completely wrong syntax. Okay. Let us append the file soft L. There we go. And if we do LL space soft, uh, soft L, you will see that there is this markation here, aside from everything else. Let's clear the screen, actually, just to get a better overview. Excellent. So it says uh, that it is a file, and it says one, meaning that there is only one of there. There is only one link, that's soft L, which is a hard link. Well, not a. That was a poor expression on my behalf. It's not a hard link. It is a file itself, but here where it says one that only means that it has one link anyway if we do ln space s and if we do soft l and we're going to give it a link to soft and if we do ll again grep uh, i soft we shall see that one of these is a link and the other one is an actual file. Uh, the first one is a link. You see how it is written out, how it is displayed here. Quite simple, quite fair. Again, we only have one link. This because this is this is a soft link, so it doesn't actually count it here. But if we, oh, by the way, you don't need to be rude to be doing this. I just, uh, I was rude because I was testing something out and I just stayed that way. Doesn't really matter now uh, for the sake of this demonstration. And if we do LN, 
soft soft L and if we give it hard link link soft we do the command again we're gonna have a look and we're gonna see that this number has indeed increased to two so the file has now two two links the soft link doesn't really count we're not really counting that but you see here it says it doesn't say that it's actually a link because it's a hard link basically uh, it's just another name for the exactly the same file it can get a bit confusing even I get confused here somewhere if I have made an error forgive me uh, please point it out just so you know I do I do really encourage that any sort of criticism is of course welcome and it does help me improve but for the time being understand that hard links once again there are just different names for the files there we go up here they're just different names for the files and soft links they are the actual links to the file they do not contain the file itself uh, let's go let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see what happens if we uh, try to open up so cat link soft there you go I am here and you are there it indeed uh, is able we are indeed able to access the file through this link and if we go ahead and remove the soft L now what happens is that we will not be able to access it via the soft link it says no such file or directory because it contains a path to that file a link to that file and that file no longer exists but look at this if we do cat hard even though the original is gone the original name of the file is gone hey guess what it's gonna be able to print out I am here and you are there it still has access to the contents I hope that I have managed to clarify this this subject at least to a certain extent uh, creating links is important understanding them to the fullest of extent maybe not so important for the Red Hat exam but it is important for you as a system administrator in general because you will be encountering these sort of things questions are welcome uh, I expect them it's a bit confusing I know just go ahead and ask away anything you feel like asking and I will be more than happy to try to answer any of your questions in regard to this subject and pretty much anything else uh, here on Udemy until next time, I'm going to bid you farewell and wish you a ton load of luck.